Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So today we have new Model 1's gels. They're called glitter gels and they're Halloween themed. Here's basically everything you get. Um, it came in this little bag, so there wasn't like a nice box or anything. So you get six different gels. You get the top coat and base coat and a brush to paint on the gels. So let's open these up and see what colors we got. First is this green. It has these like red glitters in them. This one is an orange with like purple, black, and orange glitters in them. Or just purple and black glitters. Next is this lavender color with blue and orange glitters. Next is blue with green glitters. Next is this orange color with black glitters. And the last color we got is this purple with silver glitters and stars. So yeah, here are the swatches. I think they're really spooky and let's get right into this nail set. So here are my natural nails. We're just gonna start by pushing back the cuticles. Now I'm just taking my hand file. I'm using the 180 grit side and I'm just removing the shine from my nails. Now I got my nail clippers and I'm just gonna cut off my nail growth. And today I'm going to be using these extra long nail tips. Just gonna take some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to wipe off my nails of all this dust. I'm gonna glue on the nail tips. I'm gonna use my KDS glue. Got the tips all glued on i'm just gonna cut these nails down i do not know really what i'm gonna do i want some long nails though so i like this length and next i'm just going to kind of taper these nails in okay so after i got all the nail tips kind of cut into shape i'm going to shape up these nail tips take my fine grit sanding band and remove the shine from the nail tips. Okay, now I'm gonna take more rubbing alcohol and just wipe off the nails from all this dust. This is working as my dehydrator. Now I'm gonna go in with this Young Nails Primer, put a layer of primer on all of the nails, and then I'm gonna do a second coat. And I'm just gonna take some base coat and I'm gonna paint a layer of base coat on all of the nails. Okay, so instead of build up some clear nails and then paint the gels over it, but instead of doing that, I think I'm going to mix the gels with the clear. And so that way I don't have to like worry about making the nails too thick with gel polish, you know what I mean? And I'm just using this poly gel brush to mix the colors. I'm not going to be using this orange one with the black glitters, so I'm going to be using these five and I'm just going to do it just like this. Green for the pinky, blue for the ring, this orange color for the middle, purple for the pointer, and then this light purple for the thumb. I got my clear poly gel right here and I honestly put too much I think, so I'm just going to put some to the side here. And I'm going to take some of the gel and mix it with the clear. And then I'm just going to take this and put some on my nail. So I'm just building up the nail with this green poly gel gel mixture and yeah I'm just doing the swirling method because this mixture is just too sticky um, to pat around like regular poly gel. When I use the slip solution it doesn't really do anything. Like sometimes it'll act like poly gel too if I use like a lot of slip solution but if I don't use a lot of slip solution it just acts like kind of a builder gel. I've never used a builder gel so I just kind of floated the product over the nails. So I did two layers of um, this mixture on all of the nails because on the first layer I just couldn't build the nail thick enough so i just had to cure it and go over with another layer this is such a pretty green with the red glitter i like at first i wasn't sure about this green i actually think it is very like halloween instead of moving on to the other nails i'm just going to finish using up all this poly gel so i'm kind of doing this swirling motion because it's kind of like leveling out by itself i tried my best to get around the cuticle area as best as i could but it was just kind of hard to get the gel as close to the cuticle as I can, so sometimes I just 
purposefully kind of put the gel like on my skin so that I could get close to the cuticle and then I would just wipe around the cuticle area to make sure it was nice and neat. If you use these gels like I did, you just want to make sure you keep cleaning off your brush. We got the green all done and now we're going to do the blue. I'm just going to mix the blue with this clear right here. And I'm just going to mix that together. Now I'm just going to place it on the nail. I'm going to start with the tip of the nail first and then I'll slowly move down into the cuticle area. And I'm just doing this swirling method once again. Kind of just uh, floating this mixture into place. The nail isn't properly built up either. So I'm just gonna cure this and go over with the second layer. So I was kind of like, I didn't really know what I wanted to do using these gels. I'm sure if I just chose like, oh, the purple color, I could have made a whole like crazy set using that. You know what I mean? So I just did a simple set, but I got to use all of the colors. Also like, I don't know. I'm just kind of ready for this Halloween season. I mean, like Halloween is a time for you to go crazy with your nail sets. Well, that's how I feel. I like how, I like how you could just do so many colorful nails. I mean, you could do colorful nail sets all the time. It's just, I would never really match these colors. Like, you know, I would never really match these colors. So I did this set using my dominant hand. And um, yesterday I just did my right hand using my non-dominant hand. And I'm excited for you guys to see my right hand video. Um, because I really like this set. I know you don't even know what I'm talking about, but this set is so nice. I'll just give you a little hint. I did extra long stiletto nails. Oh my gosh. Stiletto nails is just, I just love stiletto nails so much. I don't, I mean, yes, like I like my regular tapered square, but stiletto nails is just, I feel like it looks so nice on me. If you haven't tried stiletto nails, I recommend it. I know we're doing tapered square in this video, but... I recommend doing stiletto if you've never done it before. I feel like a whole new person. just taking my leftover slip solution and I'm just gonna wipe off the sticky layer from all of the nails so here are how the nails are looking right now I'm definitely getting like Halloween vibes from these I like them so much they're like so different I've never done anything like this so now we're just gonna get shaping I just got my McCart dust collector and my hand file and I'm just going to reshape these nails all right so yeah the poly gels applied now we're shaping. I really like this set so far because I would have never used any of these colors together. You know what I mean? It's strange. It's unique. It's like Halloween-y. So if you guys are interested in these gels, um, I definitely recommend them. I didn't use them like the regular way where you build a regular nail and then you paint those on because it's just like gel polish and you paint them on. I didn't do that. So I wanted to try a different way because I don't really like to paint on the gel polishes. I like to just kind of build the nail. I feel like I always put too much gel polish and I make the nails too thick with gel polish that kind of that's just what I feel like I do so I would rather just build up the nails and like be able to shape freely so I just mixed the gels with the poly gel and it still worked really good the poly gel was just liquidier you know but it was kind of like a builder gel at that point so it still worked everything worked good and the colors just the colors came out really nice so if you guys are interested in this i definitely recommend it all the information for it will be in the description i do have a code for model ones i think it's capital vic it'll be on the screen right now um the link will be in the description you can use my code you can get 15 percent off and i definitely recommend it i definitely recommend 
recommend you to get it now, you know, so you can have it in time for Halloween. I do earn a small commission, by the way. And something that I didn't even notice, like, I didn't even notice, like, I should have read the bottles better. It says luminous on the bottles, so these nails also glow. I didn't even know they glowed until I was about to go to sleep and all of a sudden my nails are glowing. I'm like, wait, they glow? What? I should have read the bottles. So they glow in the dark and they're actually really pretty when they glow in the dark. You can see at the end what they look like glowing in the dark. So after we're done shaping and filing and buffing the nails, I'm just adding some decoration. I'm adding some bling. So the first thing I went for um, on the pointer finger, I used these like, it was this gold chain that I got from Koo Pink, one of their, those charm containers. Yeah, there was a gold chain in it and obviously, you know, it's not real. <laughs> obviously, you know, a fake gold chain, but I wanted to do, you know, pierced nails. Um, well. I wanted to do something like that with the chains, but you know, I don't really have one of the little drills to make the hole in the nail. And I don't really have hoops. If I had like tiny little um, hoops for nails, I would have used them. I would have used them for this site, but it looks so cool. I need some. I really do need some. I need to get some. But anyway, so I just kind of did what you would do with the hoops to the chains, but I didn't drill a hole or anything. And um, yeah, I liked how it turned out. It looked pretty cool. It was unique. So then I just added some regular cuticle gems to the middle on the ring finger. And I added those tiny little um, caviar beads, those gold caviar beads, which I got from Born Pretty. And I just kind of filled the space in with those and if you never used caviar beads i definitely recommend i don't know what i have been doing like caviar beads just add like they fill the space and make the design the gem design look fuller and prettier and you know what i mean so i definitely recommend you to get some if you haven't um, i do have a code for born pretty as well i think it's capital vic 20 um i think you can get 20 percent off I i'm pretty sure <laughs> So after I'm done with all of the nail decoration, I'm just going in and adding some top coat to these nails. And then I'm going in with some dipped and dusted nails cuticle oil and rubbing that in. And here are how the nails turned out. I think these nails are so cute. I think they're unique. I think they're different. They're colorful. And they do remind me of Halloween. I really like them. Here are what they look like glowing in the dark. These nails are really pretty when they glow in the dark. I mean... I mean, look how pretty they are. Really nice blues and greens and orange. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. First Halloween video of the month. I'm just planning on doing Halloween videos for the this whole month. And also, did you like the intro? <laughs> did you like the intro? Because, I mean, it's not that different from my normal intro. I just think it was, like, cute, you know, festive. If you guys are interested in these Model 1's Glow in the Dark gels, I definitely recommend them. They'll be in the description. All information for it will be in the description and that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time when i'm doing these extra long stiletto nails i'm really excited for you guys to see them okay bye